I'm a very successful comedian. I love being successful because the girls like me now and they go on lots of dates with me and stuff. I went on a date with a girl. It was our first date and as soon as we sat down, she goes, I just want you to know my rule. I never have sex with a guy until he can tell me that he loves me. And I was like, wow, I really respect that. And then she's like, what are your rules? I will never have sex with a girl. <laughs> if she's choking. <laughs> now, we'll always get her the proper medical attention first and then finish while they remove the object from her esophagus. <laughs> and I hope that never happens to you because I love you. <laughs> I've always loved you. And I don't want to run from love anymore. So tired of running. This one girl called me up before the date even started. She goes, I know you're a big time comedian, so I don't want there to be any misunderstanding. I am not gonna sleep with you on the first date, but I will do the oral sex. <laughs> like this would be a problem. <laughs> I don't know what she expected me to say, well, maybe you shouldn't even come over then, for God's sakes. <laughs> I've never heard such boulder dash. <laughs> she goes, are you okay with that? I was like, I'll sign up for the year plan of that. <laughs> I have no issues with the oral sex. Oral sex will never be a consolation prize. No guy is ever getting oral sex like, this is bullshit. What, what's, the, what's the point? I don't get the point. No finish, I guess, I mean. Can't believe I missed Grey's Anatomy for this. Every time I get oral sex, I always feel so fortunate. <laughs> Even if my house just burnt down 10 minutes ago, if a girl starts giving me oral sex, I'm like, Unfortunately, though, girls will never just do the oral sex. They have to kiss your stomach first for like 15 minutes. Cause that makes them feel like a lady. They, they have a couple extra minutes to hold on to their dignity before they proceed to do the most vile act known to mankind. The first time God saw that, he was probably so confused. He's like, what are they doing? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, God, they're retarded. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat it. <laughs> that's, that's why I put hair on it. <laughs> Every now and then you get a girl who goes past her 15 minute allotted stomach kiss time. She just starts lingering around a little too long. And as a guy, you're like, 
I got a lingerer. <laughs> now you have to turn into the parent nudging their kid onto the school bus on the first day of school. <laughs> Come on, sweet. I'll, I'll be right here when you're done, I promise. I'm not going to... No, don't cry. Why are you crying? I'll, I'll give you an extra juice box. This one girl, she was just about to give me the oral sex, and then all of a sudden, she just stopped. That's, that's a crime in some countries. I, I was like, yeah? She goes, you're not going to watch, are you? No, I'll just be up here scrapbooking if you need me. <laughs> be working on our cricket. Of course I'm going to watch. I'm a real man. I'm convinced that's why Edison invented the light bulb. What else would motivate someone to spend their life dedicated to illuminating stuff? <laughs> he was probably getting oral sex for the first time. He's like, I gotta see what the hell's going on down here. <laughs> and, and, and this candle keeps burning her hair. have to invent some sort of glowing filament. <laughs> and then I'll invent a movie camera. <laughs> That's how you can tell if a guy is gay or not, ladies. Like, girls always marry these guys, and then they find out 10 years later they're gay, and they're like, I had no idea. <laughs> this is how you know. If you're giving him oral sex, and you look up, and his eyes are closed, One hundred percent. There, there is no reason for his eyes to be closed unless he's having his own little party. And in that version, you're George Clooney. Because any real man is going to be watching like you're a hit Broadway show. You don't want to miss a second. I even use those opera glasses. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> What's even scarier is if you could look inside of our heads while you're doing it. The thoughts that we have are exactly what you have at a Broadway show. Like, Splendid. <laughs> a triumph. <laughs> How does she sing and do that at the same time? <laughs> Every now and then while we're watching, the girl will look up in progress and your eyes will meet. <laughs> and for a guy, that's love. <laughs> Whenever we buy you one of those romantic cards and it talks about our eyes meeting, that's what we picture. <laughs> Do 
The only bad part about oral sex is when it's over. Nobody's happy when it's over. It, it's never a good scene. I don't mean while it's ending. I would kill my dog for that part. <laughs> yeah, that's a good part. I, I mean when it's over, over. Nobody's happy. The girl runs out of the room like there's a fire drill. <laughs> You're laying there cold and filthy, just all by yourself. hear all kinds of disturbing sounds coming out of the bathroom. <laughs> like, are you okay in there? What have I done? <laughs> I'm disgusting. <laughs> That's why I don't mind the good old fashioned hand job. <laughs> Nobody talks about the poor little hand job anymore. The hand job has kind of become the ugly stepsister of all the jobs. <laughs> Poor hand job is like, can I come out with you guys tonight? They're like, stay home, hand job. <laughs> You're like the typewriter of sex. Nobody uses you anymore. <laughs> hand job's like, I used to be very popular at proms. <laughs> Whatever. It's old grandpa hand job talking about the good old days. <laughs> now, when I was a boy, we didn't have lube. <laughs> I love the hand job. To me, the hand job is like a really slow movie that gets really good at the end. And at first you're like, oh, this is kind of boring. <laughs> but I guess it's the only thing on. <laughs> and then suddenly, there's a very good twist. <laughs> and, oh, I didn't know the other hand was gonna come in. This is, <laughs> this is getting good. And now a foot, oh my God. <laughs> The hand and the foot together. First the black president, and now this. <laughs> yes, we can, hand job. Yes, we can. And then the end of the hand job, everybody is still happy and friends. The girl is smiling. The guy is smiling. The girl is holding out her hand like a burn victim. Everybody's happy.